I must first of all compliment you on the article in the Indian Express. Oh, uh, I think uh, I, I, early this morning I got a number of uh, comments on that article, all uniformly positive. Uh, but I think many of the you know, points you made there, which is that our domestic agenda of both countries is focused on inclusion and empowerment, uh, that business to business is the pathway of going forward. Uh, the importance of our defense cooperation, the need to stabilize the Indo-Pacific, the, uh, the importance of, the, of uh, respecting rule of law and uh, promoting inclusive multilateralism, and the fact that we are both democratic Asian republics. I think all these messages really resonate very, very strongly uh, with us. Uh, from uh, our perspective, we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, been uh, very keen to engage uh, your government, and I know Prime Minister uh, and President uh, Marcos had a telephonic talk uh, last year. Uh, so I uh, look forward today to uh, really sitting down with you and uh, discussing how to take our cooperation forward. Uh, I would also like to uh, express my appreciation for your participation in the Voice of Global Summit, uh, Global South Summit. Uh, and uh, uh, I truly believe today that, uh, you know, we are two countries uh, who share so much, uh, who look at global developments and continental developments with so much convergence, uh, and who have so many economic complementarities that our Joint Commission will surely be very productive. Uh, since uh, the first uh, JCBC, uh, a number of key areas of cooperation have already been uh, discussed and, in fact, action taken, and we hope that uh, we can extend it further through our discussions today. Areas uh, cooperation in trade and investment, defense, health, medicine, agriculture, tourism, uh, financial technology, uh, just to name some. Uh, and also, India is a priority partner of the Philippines in science and technology, including in space cooperation. Your Excellency, in 2022, India was ranked as our Philippines' 15th trading partner. And uh, with the expected growth in both of our economies, we are committed to even uh, ex extending this, increasing this, by creating an environment which will foster greater business partnerships and uh, relationships in a way that mutually benefits uh, both our countries. In terms of people-to-people uh, -people linkages, I note that Filipinos and Indians have been forging friendships, uh, well, probably since time immemorial, uh, but especially now, and, uh, and even in other continents and countries in the world, and we have large diasporas in our respective countries.